as thanks in very large part to our own Gary England. Yeah, absolutely. From this 1975 clip, you will see just how far we have come. Hi, my name's Gary England, and I'm the chief meteorologist here at Channel 9 KWTV in Oklahoma City. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about our fantastic new weather maps we have here. The printing, all the color, all the printing, all the graphics that you'll see are printed subsurface. So in other words, they'll just last forever. <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed just a little bit, yeah, would you, you say? He did with what he had. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We all know he grew up in Sealing, and when he was there, he was surrounded by Cheyenne people. During a recent interview with New York Times Magazine writer Sam Anderson, Gary said, his one regret was he never asked the tribe about tornadoes. Well, this week, Gary had the chance when Cheyenne Chief Gordon Yellowman paid Gary a visit. Well, it's always seemed like to me that you all are connected to nature, to space, mm -hmm. to, to everything. It's actually um, empowerment within our Cheyenne way of life, mm -hmm. uh, our Arapaho way of life. Yeah. So she gave us ways to communicate with her. And she told us, you know, when, whenever I'm approaching, uh, you must call me by my Cheyenne name. His name was uh, Hoowood Dust. And so Hoowood Dust was the tornado, the cyclone. Wow. And he, he said, I'm going to always come in this direction. And he said, when I'm approaching, you come out there and talk to me in Cheyenne. If you will, Gordon. Chief, mm -hmm. Chief, if you will, tell me about uh, the day and, and the tornado of May 31st this year, the what we call the El Reno tornado now. So when the siren went off, and then we, uh, I started to gather my things together, the things we use in our ritual. And when you talk to him, then he's going to go around you. He's going to have pity on you. And that's what happened that day. As soon as we start uh, finishing the ritual, then I told my family, sit down now, let's stay calm. We were taught to stay calm. As soon as we'd done that, then the tornado turned south, and then we were watching it, turned on the TV, watching it, and the, the meteorologist said, it's turning south, it's going south. Why? It's never done that. Well, we knew as Cheyenne people, to me as a leader, just like you, we have responsibilities. Yeah. And our responsibility is to take care of our people. And that's what you're doing through this. And so I commend you for that. And I want on behalf of the Cheyenne Rappo tribes, I want to say, ha ho, piva, you did a good job. And so you're, you're, you're very much appreciated in our communities. Thank Naha, you very much. Ah ho. Appreciate it. Thank you. Chief Yellow Man is an amazing individual. You know, I, I, we, I believe on the website we're going to put the in full interview, which runs about 30 minutes or so. So great stuff from the Chief. Tonight, clear and mild. Then we're going to have warm nights and hot days. Is that a surprise? You know, I've done about 30,000 of these shows, and I, and I ask uh, Susan Gear, uh, how many ways can you say hot? Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> then maybe a little bit cooler uh, uh, Sunday, Monday time frame, a slight chance of rain with it. And for the allergies, a lot of us are having problems with this stuff, and we continue with the pollen and the, well, the grass and weed pollen in the high category. Everything else is good. The uh, low this morning, uh, close to normal, at a 70. The high this afternoon, 94, a little hotter than normal. We've been up to 106. That's not showing up right now. There's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and it helps keep you a little bit cooler, even though it doesn't feel like it. Wow. Is that me? Anybody else see that? <laughs> Okay, the 83, heat index 87, so that's how hot it feels out right now due to a rather high dew point coming in at 70. And across the state, what do you say? It's 70s and it's 80s, not a lot of wind, and really it's cooled off nicely. You just need a little bit of a breeze. Storm system roll by right now. We're going to be under the influence of high pressure area and a little low pressure area in the vicinity too. Uh, but overall, it looks like we just continue hot. No surprise there. Lows, 70s uh, late tonight and tomorrow morning. And for the highs tomorrow, we will go some 90s. We'll go 94 at Miami. That's a, kind of the North Pole of Oklahoma, it seems like, in recent years. And some 100s down in southwestern Oklahoma. In the sun, you know, you can add about 20 degrees for the effect on your, your, uh, your, your skin. Noontime tomorrow, 91. So rather hot at that time. 98 at 5 p.m. and south 10 to 15. And let me tell you what. Please understand, I know it's Wednesday. 
Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Isn't it? I know it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday on the calendar. Wednesday on the calendar. But what I'm going to do is going to give you and give me one more Friday night in the big town, baby. Jump back. Throw me down. <laughs> do the jump back. Throw me down, Loretta. And those of you who have watched a long time or even just a short time, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I'm going to slip back up here again. <laughs> well, bite yourself on the back of the leg, right? Yeah, buddy? well, I didn't add that in there, did I? <laughs> Roughly 30,000 forecasting. You still got it, Gary. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, still doing the same routine. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked. I mean, you want to stick yes. with it. Yeah. Gary, I've been asked 1,500 times who Loretta is. <laughs> That's a great That's question. That's a very personal question. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. Okay. I tried. Yeah, yeah you're probably in trouble you. now. <laughs> you know, earlier on, you had a very special hello from, what was it, OSU coach That's Gundy? That's right. Yeah. Earlier Gundy. on. Yeah. Absolutely, and uh, we were in Norman on Monday. Bob Stoop just pulled us aside. He said, he I want to talk about Gary. No, we chatted just a little bit, and uh, the folks down in Norman have appreciated you for a long time when it comes to reliable weather and had a chance to talk to the coach, and this is what he had to say. I'd like to say congratulations to Gary for his 43 years here in the Sooner State. We appreciate your commitment. You're always reliable weather forecasts. You're a champion just like the Sooners. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, yeah. That's nice. He is. Nice. Uh, yeah, he has felt that way. And I, I know personally, Gary, you've been a great friend. You have uh, been a guy with no pretense and believable and calm under pressure. I love the fact that you have been calm under pressure. Yes, he has been. Yeah, it's a process. <laughs> <laughs> he grew into that, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We had a great, we've had a great day around here. It's been an emotional day. It sure has. Earlier on, in fact, Gary got a very special proclamation. We have some video okay. of it. Yeah, he got a proclamation from the state of Oklahoma for just being a pioneer in weather technology. And that's your representative, and he said you pushed him in a stroller when he was little. Sure, he used to live up the street from him, you know, and his brother didn't want to have to do it. His brother bring him down the street, and I'd grab the roller and push him down the street. And he survived <laughs> to give you a proclamation. That's fantastic. Now he's running the, uh, running the state. Well, so many people around here just wanted to say thank you for making this such a fun work environment. And I think that's what I personally love so much about you, Gary, is that you've just made work <coughs> a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it is fun. If you have the right people in the right places, it's just a lot of fun, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it's been a good time. It's been a long road, but it's been a good road. You know? It has. And people love you too, Gary. Well, just talk for just a second they about do. what's coming up next. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you mean tonight? <laughs> no, no, not tonight. I mean, <laughs> in your career here. Because you're well, not leaving us. Well, you know, you know, I'll, I'll have my office here and I'll be doing uh, some reports on air. Now, I won't be doing severe weather or regular weather cast, but I will be doing some uh, reports. And it's going to be titled. Uh, I'll keep you advised. Okay. That's uh, very some things like that, and we'll be, we'll be looking a lot at the future, the long-range forecasting, things that people don't normally look at that are important to so many folks. So we'll have a good time with that, and a lot of other things. Yeah. Some of them are some pretty wild ideas. Well, Gary, there's a lot that I want to say to you, but I'm afraid I will get choked up if I say too much. Uh, I just want to say what a, what a great friend you've been. We've been doing this together out here on this show for 18 years. And, yeah. and I've looked up to you. You've been a role model and a mentor for me. And, you know, I will, I will say this. Ever since I started working here, Gary was the first guy in every day. First guy in and one of the last to leave. Yeah. And so I appreciate you putting that out there and, and, and being a role model for all of us. I appreciate in that. that. And it, we've had a great ride. It's been so it's much been fun. And it's been it's a lot been, of hard work. And it's, but it's been good. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. One thing I'd like to say, you've been here 18 years. I guess about, oh God, we had the tape, about 17 <laughs> years ago on a spring day or yeah. whatever it was. You know, Kelly's pretty good size, six, two, three, four, someone yeah, ever seen a big dude. He's, <laughs> at, he's up at Buffalo, Oklahoma, near, near the end of the world, almost in Kansas, <laughs> and he's chasing storms, but he didn't have a regular rain kill. He had on like a teenager's yellow, <laughs> uh, ladies' yellow thing. And I just got a little. Yeah, that little, his face is sticking out, and it came down to just below his waist. And I remember negative. thinking, who is that? Who is this guy? <laughs> Look, he's a huge guy in a tiny raincoat. Who needs a picture yeah, when you have a description like uh, that? Well, there's <laughs> a few times time. I've seen you speechless. Like, what, what, what have we hired there? Yeah. It was a great sight. It was. But it's been great working with you guys and yeah. all the people in the past, too. And there's been a lot of people moved through, a lot of great folks that, uh, that uh, have gone on to other markets and such, you know, and I, I think back Patty Suarez and, and many other ones. It, just uh, great times, uh, great uh, 
It was just great times. Yeah. Did some great shows. Did some great shows that weren't very good sometimes, you know? <laughs> sometimes we were really but bad. But some of turned out to be the we're, best. We try to be memorable, right? We try to be good. <laughs> <laughs> and you get yeah. off there, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe I just did that, you know? Hey, G Gary, if you're if you're talking to, to young people out there who are wanting yeah. to get in the business and yeah. you were mentoring, what, what would you say is the one or two things that have been most important to you during your unbelievable career? Well, I think, you know, you, when, you, when you go into anything, whatever it is, but I'd recommend they go into sports. But they, you know, it's, you've got to have dedication to your job. You have to have, really for me, I had to have tunnel vision. You have to have total focus in what you're doing. You have to believe what you're doing is right. You, have to, you, you know, you've got to bust your hiney. So that's yeah. what I tell them. You, you, when we have interns come in here, I said, expect to work your tail off yeah. because that's what's going to happen. That's what happens in the real world. And so it, it's focus, it's, uh, like I said, that tunnel vision, and, and, and having, having goals. You know, Jerry Dalrymple's a guy who worked here for many years, and, yeah. and to his, to his credit, he de de deserves a lot of the credit for the success of this station, also in the weather department. And uh, he was a guy who would say, why, why, why don't we try this? And, and we'd take it and run with it. And we always said, you know, we always said, how can we do this better? Like, you know, the storm projection six system you see around the country, it tells the time of arrival, you know. Well, we put that together right here in Oklahoma, the first one ever in history. And it, 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 was just, it was just amazing. We took that and moved it. And, and that's the way we used to measure. There was a, you take an old pen, a regular old pencil, Number two lead, yeah. is that what they call it? Yeah. And that was 30 miles on the radar. So what we did all through those years and all those things you've seen was say, how do we do this better? Yeah. It wasn't like, let's go do something wonderful <laughs> today. It was, let's, 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 how can we do this better? Because we're always trying to improve. You probably saw that big board that had wheels on it. Oh, yeah. That was called the big board. <laughs> and I made that. I didn't make the frame, but I made the map, and it was nine U.S. Coast Geodetic Survey maps that I cut out, glued together. <laughs> we put on that thing. It was great, though. You yeah. could see the highways and all yeah. that stuff. We were way ahead of our time. It wasn't a computer, but you could see yeah. it. And, but when it got bad, Jerry Damrimple would say, Get the big board. Yeah. <laughs> Get the big board. <laughs> and look you, how far you've, you've you know, come right. and yeah. you've helped create yeah. what we have today. And, and, and it's good to, you know, it's good. Good feeling. It's been a good time. And I'm just happy to have a job so long. Yeah, we're my, happy you did, too. My daddy would not believe it. I can tell you that for sure. You helped our job security. <laughs> I've yeah. had so many people post on my Facebook page of their favorite Garyisms. Of course, it. Friday Night in the Big Town was yeah. the number one. But so many posted on there about how you saved their lives. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. I mean, countless people yeah. on there who've said that. And, and I know that means a lot to you. Yeah, it does. It does. At the time when you're going through it, uh, well, in the early days, you didn't think, you, didn't, you knew it was happening, you knew what was going on. Nowadays, you know, you know when there's going to be fatalities. Yeah. Like, you know, you guys experienced the other day. Yeah. So you know that's, you know what's happening. The equipment's so much better now. We know well in advance uh, when there's going to be storms, usually. Weather is always usually. Yeah. Uh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's, one of the things you're good at right yeah, there. Yeah, because, man, you never know for sure. If we talk about it, everybody talks about it. Weather is so powerful and the equipment's so great and the people jump tall buildings. Well, you know, uh, we still, you know, a tornado can land in your front yard and you'd be the first one that knows about it. That's how, how we know a lot, but we're not there yet. And really, with severe weather, you have to take some responsibility on yourself and keep it safe. Mm -hmm. We can give you the information, and you have to know what to do with it and, and make the proper decisions. And uh, mm -hmm. so we've come a long way. There's a long know. way to go. That's Gary, I'm you're, glad you're still going to yeah. be here, too, to help with that yeah. weather technology development right as there. well. Yeah. A cup of coffee in my hand. Absolutely. <laughs> you brought us so far, and Oklahomans are the most weather-savvy yeah. people in the world, and it's mainly yeah. because of you, Gary England. I appreciate that. You know, I'm going to be doing a lot of talks, a lot of speeches around and representing Channel 9, so it's a, it's a great opportunity for me. Yeah. Well, well we love you yeah. so much. Thank you. Yeah. Love you, Gary. Proud to have worked with you, buddy. You want to be sure to watch October 26th at 8 p.m. as we air our special Gary England After the Storms Have Passed. And we leave you tonight with a look back at Gary's legacy and some of the most memorable moments here at News 9. Hi, my name's Gary England. And I'm the chief meteorologist here at Channel 9 KWTV in Oklahoma City. There's a very large tornado on the ground after a very large hook indicated on radar. Oklahoma, let's go to radar. 
And we'll give you this update. How far east of Enid are you at the present time? I still see I see somebody driving down Interstate 44 to the north. Yeah, there is. And if you're driving uh, but if you're driving anywhere between Chickasha and Oklahoma City on I-44, get off of that sucker now. This thing is in more and more. It's just south of the Oklahoma City area. Big time power line flashes. This is a critical situation, very dangerous. We expect thunderstorms to start developing just to the west of Oklahoma City. The El Reno area continues your tornado precautions. Let me talk to you and your kids are home alone. You know, get in the center. If you have a cellar or a safe room, that's where you go. If not, you get in a bathroom or a closet in the middle part of your house. Put a helmet on, football helmet, anything. Stay alert. Stay with TV9. We'll keep you advised. Stay with here. We'll keep you advised. Stay with TV9. We'll keep you advised. Stay with here. News 9. We'll keep you advised. Jump back. Turn around. Throw me down. It's Friday night in this big old town. 10 p.m. in Oklahoma City. Let's take a look at it on this Friday night in the big town. The original Friday night in the big town. It is Friday night. Friday night in the big town. Fr on this fr I can't get it out. Fr it's Friday night. Jump back, throw me down. Loretta. It's Friday night in the big town. <laughs>